So let's improve the previous script by letting the user input their own diameter. So let the user input a diameter. <clears throat> okay, great. So instead of hard coding the diameter at three, I'm going to let the user input the diameter. Now, uh, one problem with this is this is going to be a string. Let's see if it's smart enough to turn it into a number. Nope, apparently not. So um, I could do it as a separate step. Well, actually, let's just see if it's smart enough to get this to work. Calculate the circumference. Ah, interesting. Okay. So it did the conversion of the diameter string into a floating point number, which is good because maybe I don't want to put in an integer. Uh, okay, then let's um, print out the circumference. Okay, that's cool. Print circumference. All right, let's try running that. The diameter, let's say 4.5. Okay, 4.5 times pi, that looks right. Now, just to be a little bit clear, I'm going to make this be diameter string. And I think that's actually pretty good. 